People can't even stand on the sideline celebrities in the NFL because of us in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> we had an all-star cast on the sideline doing games, man. The distractions and everything else that Jerry Glanville causes, he's bringing in MC Hammer. They're waiting his arrival now to surprise the team. He's going to lead them in the pregame prayer and also with a little bit of rap. <laughs> You are in the locker room. What is the mood in there right now? Oh, it's the same as usual. They all fired up and ready to go. Too legit to quit. Hey, good seeing you, Hammer. All right, hey, get your ticket man. at the door. <laughs> it caught on, and, and, and until this day, all Atlanta wants, man, is a winner or someone with a winning characteristic, a winning trait, a winning DNA. Atlanta is a city that's ready and willing to embrace and support you in a multiplicity of ways. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me chills, man. Right. I know, right? <laughs> chills, man. Think about that, man. All the celebrities cool. we had on the sideline, that's cool. Well, I think MC Hammer was just, you know, he was one of the biggest celebrities at the time in the country. Yeah. To come to our sideline, he was getting a kick out of that. But him and Dion had this thing going on where Dion was a primetime superstar, and obviously MC Hammer was too. So they, they blended right together. And then Dion came to me and said, uh, MC Hammer wants to talk to the team before the game. He wants to talk to the team. Right. He wants to give the team talk. It's, you know me. The news, his talks are a whole lot better than his talks <laughs> And then we went out to San Francisco a month later or so. Y'all don't remember, we went to the airport and there was Evander Holyfield. Yep, yep. That's right. And he got on the plane and nobody invited him. Right. <laughs> and he came to me oh, yeah. he I says, I want to talk to the team. <laughs> Hell. Let him go too. <laughs> you can have my seat. Yeah. Exactly. Got up to talk to the team and this is what we heard. <laughs> <laughs> Not one word was said. I said, man, this could go on for hours. So I probably said, how about that? Jerry, the killer, you gotta think about this right here though. This is 1991. Yeah. We got the world heavyweight champion world heavyweight right here champion. in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. man. On our sideline. Yeah. That's right. On our bus. Yeah. That's right. On, on our, our plane. plane. Yeah. On the plane. And oh, you I mean, how many teams, every can, when you look around over the last 30 years, how many teams can say that? Nobody. 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 I mean, you think you know, that, that's you what think, made that 91 team so special. You're right. You think about it. So, uh, Hammer traveled with us. Yeah. Evander traveled with us. Yeah. We had Travis Trent show up all the time. <laughs> We had James Brown coming to us. James Brown, we're just sweet. So yeah, we yeah. are, hey, we're, we're, we're out in Suwannee in the locker <laughs> right. room, right? And I'm sitting down, and James Brown is sitting right next to me in the I'm locker, right. and he's got his assistant, and James doesn't take off his own shoes, right? Right. <laughs> so he raises his foot up. His guy takes his shoes off, puts a nice pair of turf shoes on, <laughs> right. you know, ties up his laces. We go out to the field, and right. I, I'm sitting, I'm next to the Godfather of Soul. I'm from Eugene, Oregon, right. sitting next to the Godfather of Soul, <laughs> teaching him how to take a snap from under center and run a toss play to Mike Rogier, a Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah. That stuff just you didn't happen. It just don't happen. Soul, it just don't happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> Hopper, Dennis Hopper's hanging out with us. Jerry oh, Jeff Walker, goodness. Travis Tripp. Oh, Jerry Jeff Walker came back and married the Redskin mm -hmm. and wrote a song about y'all. He was so talented. <laughs> he wrote a song about y'all that uh, next, next thing you know, everybody wanted a piece of that song. Did you get to sing on that record? No, I didn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> because if I did, um, I would definitely do not play it right now. I have a terrible voice. What, what, what were those? Because I know the, the pregame locker room was madness, right? What yeah. was that? What was that like being in the pregame locker room that was similar to a nightclub, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I will say this right here. Hey, Chris, 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 you have to understand this. It was your soundtrack. It was your soundtrack. Chris, listen to this right here, man. Seriously. In the NFL, everybody want to get serious. Right before a game, you can go to out of 31 teams, how many teams there are now, you can go and listen, and it's quiet. Our locker room was never quiet. Uh, Pre-game, when you come in there, music. it was blasting. Oh I mean, anything from country music to rap music, rock, rock and, and roll, roll, everything. And everybody loved it, man. Yeah. It, it motivated folks, everybody. Cool thing, you have folks dancing, doing their thing, getting comfortable, getting ready for the game. And nobody's uptight. You know, all the stars they? hanging out. All the stars dancing. hanging out, walking through the locker room. Then you have folks like me who I put my headphones on and be sitting in the corner trying to get ready. <laughs> and the music just going and going. And it was so much fun. And I mean, yeah. you couldn't ask for a better scene. Than, than, it than wouldn't, just, it wouldn't fly in today's NFL And that's before security. the game. It, so. it, 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 it wouldn't. Imagine, 
It How about imagine imagine once we work. win <laughs> or worse, and it's, reporters, it's that times three. <laughs> hey, listen, Chris, after the game, reporters would come in, and they're like, can someone turn on the music? We can't even ask the guys questions. <laughs> I mean, it would be that loud. Uh, loud. Jerry said, oh, no one touched the That's music. music. <laughs> and, right. and the music played the entire time. The music um, was sacred, for sure, It was sacred. Man. It, was it was sacred. sacred. And y'all, awesome. And, we had big, big boom boxes. We're the only team when we got on the airplane. We had, we traveled. Right? <laughs> I know. Travel with them suckers. And still to, to this day, people talk about this team as as one of the the teams in 500 history. Yeah. And still to this day, people talk about this team as as one of the the teams in Falcons history that was most connected to the city in terms of the the way you guys played, the way you were boastful and, and brash. And like I, I talked about oh, earlier, Dion had to you know look wet, but it's but it's dry. It's very <laughs> curly. Why, why do y'all think y'all connected so much with with the city of Atlanta? When I left the city. And I hadn't used the word, but you all know the word. People said, that team started swag. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about that because I never thought about swag. I just thought we had, we wore black uniforms because black wasn't the color, it was an attitude. Right. Well, that attitude got to the swag, and I think Atlanta loved the swag of the way they played. Uh, you know, we didn't throw a frickin' four-yard route. And we didn't, we didn't go three plays without a blitz. And, and so it, it wasn't what people watch today. Today, it's like going to a Baptist sermon. Nothing's happening, you know? Uh, we were on fire. All the time. All the time. I, you, I think he's right with the swag thing. I mean, the city was on the rise with the music industry. It's starting to get big. Uh, the Braves had just won their... Uh, yeah they had just started becoming the Braves that they are now. And, you know, everything was missing but the football team. And then, right. uh, like he said, when that swag started, it started hitting us in, 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 in the media, and then it poured onto the field. Right. And, I mean, we had Dion Primetime. We had Showtime and Andre Rising with Jerry Glanville, who was a big character of himself. <laughs> and, I mean, it just poured into it. And then, and then we were winning games. Right. I mean, you win games, the media going to follow, especially with all the other stuff that's going on around right. us. I think, yeah, it was, sure. I think it was all-inclusive, right. too, with all right. different sort, different right. walks of life. Everybody could identify with, with the Falcons, what we were doing. It was new. It was fresh. It didn't Attitude. matter if you were West Coast, redneck country person or whatever. I mean, everybody could, could identify with different walks of life, and it made it so unique. And everybody had fun. You see on these videos, everybody's rocking, and you don't see that all the time at NFL the games. I mean, and it wasn't just it wasn't just that we were the most exciting Falcon team. We were the most exciting team, team. in the NFL. Yeah, exactly. which was really cool. Yeah. 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 For, so for me, it was, it was different because that's where we were in Houston. You know, we came here. For me, when I got here, first year, we didn't win. The, we we lost a close game. Right. That next year. We won those games. So right. the five that we lost the year before, we won them. Right. So now we had his attitude and his spirit and just who he was leading the way. It opened up all that for when we got here because everything we did was attack. We right. was having fun. We was uh, working hard. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And every and like we had people from all genres of, of life. You know, from country western to rap to to blues, to everything else, to where uh, we were able to reach everybody within the community. And you, you let us be I mean? ourselves. That was the cool yeah, thing. That's important. We all, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all can yeah. be yeah. ourselves, yeah. and you encouraged it, yeah. and it just came out. And, it took yeah. on and that it. brought there the swag on. And, and it what's took inter on what's interesting about being yourselves, offensive lineman, comes up to me 20 years later at the Super Bowl. Hmm. He goes, nobody had the fun that we had, but I now realize Nobody worked as hard as we did or yeah. were more prepared than we were. Yeah, he goes, when we didn't have you, we weren't prepared for all that right. stuff that was going to happen. He says, so people thought we were having fun, which we were, yeah. but you all didn't know you were working harder than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Who else played nine on seven live? Well, yeah, <laughs> for people who don't know, when you practice, you know, today you practice, you don't have the gear on. You know, we practiced the entire season with the gear. Three oh, full weeks. Nine three full weeks. Three full weeks. Three Live, like on full scrimmage, you know, and but that made me better because I was a, I was the NFL leading tackler that year. Yeah. And Jerry, thanks for that. And uh, <laughs> no, and, thank uh, you, yeah. thank you. <laughs> but he brought a lot out of the city and brought a lot out of yeah. us because Community. before, you know, our team was, you know, obviously the, you know, the Falcons color. You know, you got white, red, and black, and we wore those colors. You know, red was home and white was on the road. But we was back in black when Jerry came. It was an attitude thing, not more, exactly. more so a jersey and the helmet change. It was an attitude change. That's what and it was. I think the attitude change, what brought us from the year before your first year, we went five and eleven to 
going 10 and 6 and eventually going to New Orleans and winning, winning, playoff, winning our first playoff game in 11 in, years. In 11 man. years. Yeah. And I think that carried on to this day. Yeah. You know, right. it helped change the culture of how the average fans here in Atlanta Respect view the, the Atlanta Falcons.